Hey guys, here is a quick guide to quickly defeating Radon in just 2 minutes. I've seen a lot of people recommending to wait until around level 70. I don't think you really have to. In the video here, I was in the high 40s. As soon as you spawn in, quickly sprint towards the first cover to summon in your first 3 companions. After you have them, beeline it to your left while utilizing cover to summon your remaining friends. Do your best to dodge any of the charged arrows. When he points his bow into the air, it means a volley is coming your way. So now would be a good time to hop on your mount and run to either side to dodge it. If your mount bugs and doesn't spawn like mine did, well I hope you have a shield. If you're far enough away, you should be able to block at least the majority of the damage. After your mighty warriors are all summoned and have begun taking aggro, it's time to gallantly charge towards Verdun with the might of thousand angry beavers. Once you're in range, leap from your mount like you're the stern in an action movie, and begin your annihilation of Verdun's weathered horse. Do your best to stay under slash behind him and dodge whatever you can. If you get hit, it's not a huge deal in this phase. You can generally just spam roll towards him from being knocked down, and you should iframe everything. The goal here is to pack on as much damage as possible before he team rockets away. Your little army will do a good job at taking aggro while you can unleash some devastating blows. Once he launches off, start reviving your comrades, and then grab the two additional meat shields that are on top of the hill. During phase 2, you should be more aware of his attacks and avoid them, but if everything was done right, you should be able to ride in and finish him off pretty quickly while he crushes your friends. And that's basically it. He's super intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of him, he's actually kind of easy, especially having like 300 companions fighting at your side. If you're into cinematic stuff, definitely take a run through of this fight just to kind of watch everything unfold. When he flies into the air and turns into a meteor, it's actually pretty sick. So, it might be worth a death in your opinion, but it's up to you. Have fun guys, good luck out there, thanks for watching.